grandma and today we are making pork tofu this is a dish that mom has made uh, pretty much since she can remember so <laughs> one of the staple dishes that she makes for dinner okay, we, I make it well I started making it I don't know when I started a long time ago but what I find with pork tofu is it yeah you can put the oil in okay. and it's um about two tablespoons or one tablespoon maybe and you, you know you can use more vegetables with it um, and uh, it's really fast like I could make it you know this is a dish that you, you can just kind of throw together it's very versatile you can add whatever you have in available so it doesn't only have to be pork and um, Tofu, tofu and, and onions. And onions. If you, if you know, I could. If I really have a lot of carrots, I can add carrots in it. Or so. So today know, we're we're adding what I see here, right? So okay. Grandma is already starting. Yeah, grandma <laughs> So grandma starting. So we have um, what kind of pork is this? It's it's, it's pork, pork loin. loin. So it's, it's about a pound of pork. Okay, so about a pound of pork and some oh, sorry, ginger. And then we have one and so a half a blocks more. of. Yeah. This is a firm tofu. Yeah. We have it looks like your one onion. One white onion? And just about one and a half onion. Oh, sorry. So it's so whatever I have. I had a half onion in the refrigerator, so I used one and a half. I and then the last thing is green onion. So yeah. that's just one, one stock. Bunch. One, one bunch, bunch of green onion. Right. So, okay. Add so some ginger. Is that ginger? Yeah. Oh. Ginger to give it nice some flavor. Ginger as well. So this is a pound. A little over a pound. So Grandma, did you, did you used to make pork tofu growing up? Did you used to make pork tofu for the kids? Yeah. yeah. So, mom, how did you learn how to make pork tofu? Uh, you learned it. Um, you know, I don't remember that grandma and grandpa made it, but they probably did. But I, I think I learned it just from reading recipe books, and this is what you meant. Thank you, mom. Hot, hot. Is mom a good cook? Is she a good cook? Yeah. Nah, she not a cook. <laughs> She don't know. She don't know. <laughs> Did you teach her how to cook growing up? <laughs> the truth is coming out. And it goes down generation to generation. You're not spoiled. No, I'm not spoiled. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> but yes, I've never cooked this, so it's it's good to learn. I'm gonna cook it a little bit more because I did cut it a little bit bigger than normal. And you can use any kind of pork for pork, pork tofu. Right, you can use anything. And I just happen to have. And my my um, thing is always um, use what you have. Use what right? you have. That's the mentality of the right. plantation people. Right. So use whatever use what you, you have. have. Okay, we're gonna put the onions in. Yeah, sure. Put the onions. All in. of it. Well, that's one and a half. And one so and let me half. turn up the heat. Yeah, go ahead. Put it in. So grandma, how does it feel to be 98 years old? How does it feel to be 98? Too old. Too old? Do you still go on the treadmill? Huh? Do you still go on the treadmill sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Every day? Sometimes? No. No, today we never go. We never go today. What did you do today, mom? Some dog star. Yeah. You had fun? <laughs> You went to the senior citizen. Yeah. Did you play Hanafuda? Oh, you remember you brought your cards? I don't care. Oh, somebody. Oh, no. Somebody. Oh, no. She got swiped. Somebody swiped her cards. <laughs> Grandma goes to the senior care center a couple times a week. Not yet, Mom. Not so yet. It's, it's going to break. So far. It just kind of helps not her socially and um, emotionally to get out and be able to talk to some other people. Yeah. So it's really good for her. I thought I was going to come home and sleep. No, you got to help Gail, yeah? You have to help You got to help Gail cook. No. So now this has been cooking for probably about five to ten minutes. Yeah. Or so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the shoyu and the sugar. 
and then I'm going to just cover it and cook it first and then add the tofu and the green onions after the, I know that the pork is cooked. I have here a uh, half a cup and I'm not sure if that's going to be enough but we're going to add half a cup of choyu. Is that me? And then, I show you. And, show then you. The, and then I have a fourth of a cup of brown sugar and I use the turbinado sugar. This is the raw sugar. And I use that because uh, Grandpa always used raw sugar because he worked in the sugar mill. And uh, he always brought home raw sugar. Maybe water. Okay. Grandma said a little bit of water. Sure. Here. So this How much that's water? No, I have oh, you have the water. So just a little bit. You know the, the thing is never to waste. That's never to waste. Right. So there was a little bit of show you left, but then we put the water in. So we're going to just cover this now and make sure that the pork is cooked. We're just going to let it cook for a little bit. And it should be cooked really quickly. So. Okay. So I know, I, so I, I know when the, the heat is at, at, it's at the right temperature or that it's cooking well, when I have this slider lock seal on it, and so I'm going to turn the heat down. So it was at 8 and I'm turning it down to um, low, actually. So you make that taste, you put this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What did Grandma say? After I make the taste, then we're going to add the tofu, that, which is right. Yeah. What does that mean after you make the taste? So after we put the sh sugar, the shoyu, and it tastes good, we're going to add the tofu in at the, at the, the end. At the end, yeah. Kind of the end. Okay, so I'm adding another quarter cup of um, quarter cup of shoyu. I just wanted to make sure I measured right. And an eighth of a cup of brown sugar. And Dad used to cook. He just he didn't measure. Yeah, he never measured. He never measured. He just you guys just taste good. He's a good cook. He's a good cook, so he didn't have to measure. We have to blow. I think it's hot. No. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. We we have to make sure. You have more sugar. No. If you think it's good, it's probably good. Everything I notice with the plantation food is show you and sugar. Put yeah. this inside already. Cook more. So grandma is saying to put the tofu in. So I, what I did is I made a spot there. Okay, so I'm going to add the tofu. I made, I made a spot here so that the tofu can be Okay, so we're going to let the pork and the tofu marinate in the sauce and cook. Okay. For how About, long? Oh, well, let's say five minutes. Five minutes. Is Very short. What? what is the trick to these plantation dishes? Well, I think you have to know how much you're starting with. The basic recipe is two parts shoyu to one part sugar. And for us, we always try to use the raw brown sugar when we're making dishes like this. This one. Yeah. So, I used actually three fourths cup of shoyu and three eighths cup of brown sugar. But if I had a really small portion of pork and maybe say just um, a half to a, a three fourths of a tofu, maybe I didn't use all my, you know, I just have a little bit of tofu and I, I would just maybe go with a fourth of a cup of shoyu and an eighth of a cup of sugar. So you, you kind of have to eyeball it. And I think it all depends on too, like what you, what you, you know, you as a person, how you want it to taste. Like, do you like it sweeter or do you like it more savory? Right. And you can also, if you, you can also add water mm -hmm. to water it down. So it's been about five minutes. We can add our green onions. Okay. Okay, mom, we're going to add our green onions. Hey, grandma. So we have, um, this is a whole bunch. You know, when you go to the market, you buy green onions. That's a whole bunch. Just want to gently, gently try and mix it. You have to do the. So when Grandpa used to cook this kind of dish, he would like get the two sides and like toss it up and like right, right. throw it up like this. And if I have a clip that I can find, I will put a clip in um, just to kind of show what that right. looked like. But in the um, Nishimi Nishime video, or um, maybe the chicken heads, or and both the chicken heads. I think that's how he did that, and that's because I think he didn't want to. Um, he didn't want to damage the, the right. vegetables or the tofu or anything soft. So that is one way you can do it if you are strong enough. Are you strong enough? Mm -hmm. No comment there. Okay. 
I think we're just about ready to eat. Looks good. Looks good. I mean, this has a great flavor, you know, the, the tofu along with the pork. And uh, pork is in general generally more uh, healthier than beef because it's, it's more lean. So I, I really like it. It has a good flavor. Perfect. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. I don't think they serve this at a restaurant, you know. <laughs> good. Um, I love always adding pepper. Freshly ground pepper to all of my uh, dishes like this, especially pork tofu. So we try it with the pepper. Very good. So we are going to be trying mom's pork tofu. So I have some pork. Reed has both pork and tofu. Cheers. Mmm. Sweet. Savory. It's mm -hmm. good. And the pork is soft too. And pepper? Yeah. The pork and tofu always, it just, it's a great combination. So, what do you think? It's good. Tofu. We haven't eaten tofu in a little while, so it is nice to eat some tofu. And as everyone said, it's a healthier protein. So, it's great to make at home. It's very easy. Show you sugar works on anything, as mm -hmm. you can tell. Mm -hmm. So we're going to end the video here. Please like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.